have a duty of care. How are you going to keep them safe? There's the whole area of transportation, but the, how far is it to that vaccination site? And who's going to help me through that? How does a person handle that by themselves now that they are 85, 92, 100 years old? That's where that partnership comes in with us, with our volunteers and staff to partner with people one-on-one -on -one to make sure they have somebody with them. They're not trying to face all this stuff all by themselves. It would have been extraordinarily difficult for us to apply and get the vaccine as a recipient directly. But I talked to the board at caregivers and said, you know, we can develop the protocols and we started to develop the relationships necessary to make this happen. We partnered with Spectrum Health Group. They've got all the vaccine. All I have to do is go pick it up. I created the program that allowed it to be administered to get it from their refrigerator into the arm of somebody. A non-medical person can be part of our teams and they're going to be doing mostly the clerical work. So that role does not require any med medical background of any kind. I have literally a toolbox which has our supplies in it. I have a cold storage unit, which is a converted six pack cooler that we've done temperature assessments on to make sure it's accurate. And we have a notebook with our manifest and all the patients. And that's all we need. It's really like a sacred person-to-person -person partnership. So it's the community coming forth and saying, we're not going to leave people alone in all of this. We're here to make a difference and nothing will stop us. Mm -hmm.